Hi guys, since nobody's home right now, I thought I'd do a video or two on Nano Gemmo Month, the pages I have done so far. Start with this one. Um, I started out with this scrapbook paper that I had, like, forever, and decided to do a somewhat of a what Inkwell did, does on her streams, take a piece of paper and inspiration and take colors from it and, sm and smoosh it with um, a palette knife. I did red, red, yellow, and blue, and I added some black to it with the palette knife. And I, you know, with the red, I think I smooshed it with the, um, baby white. And then I took some of the um, scrapbook paper and tore some parts of it off and glued it on and highlighted it with the, um, well, I'm not highlighted, outlined it with the, with one of the paints that I used. I think it was the bright red. And this one I did during, around my birthday. This is basically the same theme, thing that I did with the last page. I took the scrapbook paper and I based the colors off of that. I think it looked like the stripe was black, but after I put the paint on, or put and stuff, it, then it decided to look brown. But anyway, I took two different types of pink paint as the background and then some black. I smushed some black, and then I tore some of the scrapbook paper and put it over the page. This is somewhat what Paula did on her live show. And I did one on her, when her birthday was, her, when she did her birthday page, I sort of did the same thing. Well, not really, but I did that. This represents my birthday in a piece of cake. Um, the hearts all over the page, I took, I traced a heart onto a baby wipe and I just cut it all out, cut them out and put it throughout the page. Represent love that I want, hope to be, hope to find one day. This is from a magazine. The rub on and these, this is a fabric sticker, and stickers are from Studio, Studio Calico that I got left over from a project from uh, CHA. And this represents, you know, hope to travel more well, throughout the U.S. And this, uh, um, Represents taking pictures and hopefully getting a new camera. So hopefully the next set of videos I get will be from my new camera. And there might be a couple from my old one, from this one. And this is from, um, this one and that guy are from Precious Moments Catalog. And this represents hoping to be with somebody someday. And Love Happier is from a uh, magazine. That's sort of self-explanatory. This is from a backing from my ATCs that I did for Inkwell's um, ATC swap. I have a video that I've yet to post on it. Post upload. I'll do that someday. And this, um, some might think it's, thinks it some, means something else, but it means, um, to cook, I hope to cook a lot more. And I will be when my parents are going away for a month in February to Vegas, so I'll be home alone. Yay. And this represents hoping to, um, get a job, to be working, to have money. And these swirls are from the oil pastels. 
crayons from Crayola. And I think I did a um, black pulse. This was not a good day, and hopefully I can do this without crying. I found out, I think the day before I did this page, or the day I did it, that I had that. Well, whatever. Um, the song is, um, Let Your Love Light, Leave Your Light, Love Light, Shine On Your Love Light, whatever, by the Grateful Dead. Well, the Grateful Dead does it. And this, I heard the song before, and some of the lyrics really stood out for me. So I went to find the, um, song and the lyrics, and I printed it out. And then, um, I wrote some stuff, you can see through that window, and then I painted it black, but I left the, um, this space blank. I, I traced this house after I, um, colored it and uh, cut it out, so I knew where to put, how, where to put the black paint on. And then I spritzed it with silver, um, spray. And then, um, to give it, like, a, a shine. And I cut out the lyrics that were important to me, that stood out. And this is, represents the moon. But, as you can see, it's a broken heart. And I, um, I cut out this window, and I painted it yellow, and then I, um, basically took, um, glossy accents on all the windows. And this, um, somewhat goes with this page, but you can see not really. Um... I saw the, in the catalog, I can't really see it, it's not zooming in good, but this is a hoodie, it's a drums, and this is a guitar, and I took the, um, I took the colors off that were on the sweatshirt into the back, into the colors on this page, took different types of blues, paint, craft paint, and the silver, and smushed it on. And I think I don't know if this is gesso, the white or white acrylic paint. I think it's right acrylic and I smushed it on there. And then I sprayed some of the um glitz Yeah, glitz spritz desert moon endless sky. From, um, yeah, Lindsay's stamp game. That's the only bottle I have. This stuff, and it was given to me. And then I wrote Tear. It's you know, from the part of the Taylor Swift song, Tear Drops on My Guitar. I wanted to do a, I know I did a page on that song, and I did really want to do a, not a whole other page about that song, but. It's, but I just wrote tear, and I drew, uh, painted on teardrops, and some of the letters. And I haven't done yet, it's so only nine minutes, got nine minutes. Um, this one I bought, I did, oops. I just bought these paint sets when I did this page, and I wanted to play with them. I got these at Michael's. And I know I think I paid too much for them, even though with the coup I had a coupon. They they rang up for ten ninety nine, and then I had the coupon, the forty percent coupon. So they're like six, but I know they're a lot less because they're odd. They're the oddest, the artist laugh brand, and they should be five bucks. But oh well. Anyway, I painted some, used some of the colors on there, and then I painted the, used the black all over, 
and then I use the um this music note stamp for Prima and these stick this ticket stamp from um, Tim Holtz. Let's make it to this page. And these were from this rack. This place rack me in um this rack the rack Hall of Fame is from let me find it Mental Flash Magazine. This is I, I did the um the tape transfer. And this magazine is awesome for the tape mag tape for the tape transfer technique because after you soak it for a while it the back page just rips right out. And you get this. And these are from stickers that I have in my stash. And this is from Die Cuts with a View. It needed something and I didn't know where to put it. And this is one of the um, words prompts that we had in Nano, jo Nano Jomo. And um, it was poised and I used took this, I was looking through magazine for like a good picture, and it shows this, that based the colors of the page off of the magazine, I cut her out, and then I, after I painted it with the blues, calf paints, I to I used the, um, the background that was, well not really the background, but the backdrop of what she was on. And I tore it, and I crumpled it, crumpled it, and I wet it, and I used, I think, leather wood. Um, Distress ink. And I pasted it on there, and I outlined it with, um, Dot Martens in iridescent ink and silver. And glued her on there, and then I, this quote was also in there. And I hope when I get my new camera, it will be have better focus. And there was another page that I did off of the word prompt. It was choice. I did this one before. I just had the, the Twinkie and the girl. And I just added some of the, the avocado, the grapefruit, and um, the pop top. Pop dots, <laughs> pop tarts, and I just stamped out the word choice. And let's see, I think I can do this before. And this was um another word prompt that we did that we she had. And um, when I thought of courage, I thought of the Wizard of Oz and the Cowardly Lion. So. I did a page on that. I just happened to have a line that I got from Kane Company from here. So I had it gotten at Michael's when they were on clearance. And, um, he's the hat. In the crowd is, um, Tim Holtz, um, Grunge, Grunge Board, The Elements, I think. I don't remember. And I painted it with Luminaire paint, I think in bronze or copper or whatever, I think bronze. So anyway, I painted it with um, folk art paint and two different greens, I mixed it up together, and um, then I painted the, uh, in yellow, and I drew the brooks, and I think I painted on the yellow and adjacent ink from Doc Martens. The letters are from, also from K Company that I got in clearance. And, um, I have a good time trying to find the letters for this. And this I found online. And I cut them out and put them on. That was the date of the, of the word. I normally don't do that. Why I did that, I don't know. And that's about my page. And I'm about to run out of time. So I'll end here and start with my other one. So see you in a while.